Hey folks, welcome to the channel. This is Rockin' the Country. I'm Don. I'm doing a gift request again today. Matt Sale made a gift for me to do another one of Eric Church's songs, and I don't know this one as far as I know. The Hard Way. I knew some of Eric's um, earlier stuff, not more recent stuff, but uh, so we could thank Matt for this one, but it's The Hard Way. That sounds like an Eric Church title. So let's see what this one's about. Hey, you never know with Eric what you're going to get. Only fools would race down Grist Mill Road, let alone in angry weather. That's what I tell everyone I know. Now that I know better uh -oh. That's a lesson I wish I would have learned Without having to watch my Mustang burn Before my best buddy had to wind up hurt And his whole life was changed Yeah That's a lesson I wish I didn't learn The hard way we all got them in our life on different Only levels. A fool would keep a diamond ring in a box on the top of his closet. He came so close, he almost asked. It was right there in his pocket. That's a lesson I wish I would have learned Before standing in the back row of that church Watching her daddy giving her To the man who took my place That's a lesson I wish I didn't learn The hard way Wait, so he just chickened out and didn't ask her Even though he had the ring? All right, let's, I don't know if that one will be developed or if he moves on to another vignette. Regrets been known to give a man a beating. Yeah. But I ain't in the mood for fighting back this evening. Wow. Only fools don't take the time of day. They stay too busy running To stop just once And tell their dad Just how much they love him That's a lesson I wish I would have learned Before the phone call came and it was her No like mom never had to say a word I knew it was too late. Yeah. That's a lesson no. I wish I didn't learn the hard way. The hard way. The hard way. The hard way. Life's about balance. You know, <laughs> there is a lot that could be said about that, though, because life is lived by trial and error, and you can't do everything balls to the wall. You just can't. There's got to be some temperance in there to where you sort of hold back, you let other people have space. We live in a social context because we live among many other people, whether it's our family, our friends, extended communities, workplace, and timing is important. I, I, that's why like when relationships work, for example, it's such a beautiful thing to see or even be a part of if you're in one that, that works because so many things don't work because there are so many different ways in which our frailties show up with one another, but even in... There are so many things that we, when we push the envelope, that bad things don't happen. We just experienced it. We got away with it, so to speak. 
and we have memories to look back on and laugh with our buddies from high school or middle school or wherever. And you're and the stories start with, dude, do you remember the time when? Or you know, for a girl, you know, do you remember the time when we? And then fill in the blank. And there are wonderful memories there. And I mean, for example, the ring. Okay, he's seeing the girl that he loved get married to someone else. All right, we don't know the context there, but we know he didn't ask her. Uh, that's a safe assumption. All right, so let's say you go out on two dates, and then you ask her to marry you. She's going to say no, unless she's crazy, because you don't know each other well enough. That's just how it works here, at least in America. And so, <laughs> she'll probably say no. But so the timing is important there. And did he wait too long? Did, I mean, was she seeing another guy? Obviously she did at some point because she's marrying someone else. So it isn't as easy as do all this stuff. Calling your father, okay, he didn't have a good relationship with his dad. I understand that. And, you know, the Mike and the Mechanic song, In the Living Years, always pops into mind on, the, on that kind of thing. But um, driving down the road in bad conditions, that part, it's like, all right, probably shouldn't have done that. But man, the number of stupid things I did. And my buddy and I talk about this on occasion. The fact that we're alive is is a mini miracle because we just did so many crazy things. But we got away with them, so to speak. They didn't kill us. Matt, that was a good one. I'll rate this one. I didn't rate the other one because, you know, the death row thing of Eric's Jesus. I, I did like this one, though. I liked Eric's cadence, I, which I do in most of his songs. I mean, he just... he brings it as he is. He doesn't overdo or underdo anything. You know, I, uh, that's a 9.0. I like that song. I There's just, Eric is so different. And so there, <laughs> this is like a life lesson type song, but it made you think and reflect. It drew me in the three different vignettes. You're like, where's he going? And then you find out and then it uh, gives you room to ponder. So there you go. You can thank Matt Matt Sale for that one because there's also a Matt Gallardo. And, uh, but Matt Sale, thank you very much, my friend. Okay, folks, have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country.